If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. I got some really good news for Ace. Okay. Nobody has won the Powerball. Yeah, I know. I saw that this morning. So it's approaching a billion dollars. I think it's like $945 million. Oh, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, okay. it's up there. So nobody won it last night. Uh, so... You know, you still got an opportunity. Yeah. Nobody in America, man. I thought, I thought I had some really good numbers, too. Me, too. I looked down and was like, these are good numbers. You can feel it, sort of. Yeah. That's what dumb people say. <laughs> when Louisiana yeah. first got the lottery when we were when we were younger, still living there, that's what people, they get go to quick pick, and they go, oh, okay, cool, I got some good numbers. What are you talking about? What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. You feel about. like they should be spaced <laughs> yeah. out accordingly, like they're, they got some nice space. But then you watch somebody <laughs> win, and it's like, you know, Three, seven, forty-five, forty-six, forty-eight. Like you would uh, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't work. You out would have well. thought those Ugh. numbers suck. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're standing there as the machine's spitting out their numbers. That they're looking at a slot machine, going, "Come on, come on, yeah. come on, come on." <laughs> <laughs> so what, the next Powerball drawing is f- Saturday. 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 Yeah. So good luck. Get yeah. your tickets now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe Lieberman is trending. He has passed away at the age of eighty-two. Mm-hmm. He was the first Jewish vice president vice presidential candidate from a major party it's quite a title yeah but um in in later years of his life you know he ran with al gore yeah and then in later years of his life he supported john mccain uh, uh you know the republican nominee for the presidency mm-hmm. so democrats started to dislike him <laughs> oh yeah that's what uh, happened that'll do, that'll do that'll it. do it i think he could have been possibly the last what you would call moderate democrat in yeah. the senate yeah. that word gets thrown since, around with him yeah. a lot since since then i mean they're just radical marxists <laughs> so boom. Say, uh, and it started when he had the gall to to support a um a uh, moderate republican moderate to liberal republican to john mccain he's like you can't you can't stray yeah you're gone you're like he died to them years ago <laughs> You're dead to me. Yeah. Have you guys ever said to some another person, you're dead to me? No. 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 I heard somebody use that phrase, like, seriously. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the internet. I mean, I don't know these people, but they say, you're dead to me. I was like, that's very dramatic. I've said yeah. it in jest many times. Yeah, I say it in jest. Yeah. But, like, mm-hmm. see, this person was dead serious. Mm-hmm. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I said that to my grandmother. Did you? <laughs> yeah, at her funeral. Because <laughs> it was true. It was appropriate, I thought. Yeah, I think so. Uh, today is National Something on a Stick Day. Yeah. And it's celebrating all, right. all foods on a stick. And I thought, mm. okay, corn dogs, mm-hmm. popsicles, mm-hmm. cotton candy, maybe? Is yeah. that kind uh, of a stick? It's on a like, tube. <clears throat> it's on a tube. It's what more are, of a tube. Yeah, what about like those ice cream bars that come on a stick? Ice cream. Yeah, yeah I think delicious. all the ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, those eclairs that are ice cream, that's so good. Mm. Yeah, but so you just put all ice cream and popsicles kind of in the same in the same family. But what else is a kebabs? I was about to ask okay, you, yeah, kebabs. But yeah. I, I stick myself in the throat trying to eat a kebab. You I, don't take it off the kebab? Too much trouble. Okay. I was, I was or I'll either try to eat it off like a corn on the cob. <laughs> try to eat all the meat. <laughs> yeah, I was like out of a big skewer. <laughs> and this dangerous corn on the cob. Yeah. <laughs> so those are a few things that are now trending. <laughs> oh. I got so excited last night when I saw it on our social media, like, oh, my God, this is working. And I laughed, and Tech D. Rob and I have laughed and laughed and laughed this morning at just how unbelievably lazy we are as people. This will be something you will take with you to all your friends later today. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies.
Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Don't act like you can never be lazy because we all can. We can all be incredibly lazy from time to time. And I saw this post a couple of days ago. A lady posted that she and her friend were in the store. I just said, they were, I think they were, it was a Target or something. And anyway, uh, they were having a conversation about needing sports bras. And they were looking at sports bras. She goes, I'm holding the sports bra in my hand and thought, I need to try this on. I need one of these. Then the realization hit. That means I've got to walk about 10 feet to the dressing room Mm. and try it on, which means I would have to take my shirt off and my bra that I have on off and try it on. Yeah. And she said, so she decided I'll just wait and come back another day, which meant like the next day she still needed one. She was going to have to come back the next day. And then she realized (laughs) on her way home how incredibly lazy she was for not doing it right. And then now she's created so much more. Now I got to go back Mm. there the next day to get what I'm, and she still got to try it on. Yeah, she's like, I had it in my hand. I could have tried it on and walked out and been done with it, but now I've created work for myself. Buxom woman? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, fair oh. enough. Above average. <clears throat> but okay, you so, know, if they buxom. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Anyway. Um, but, and her point was, this was a very simple thing to do. It wouldn't have taken five <laughs> minutes, but she just felt lazy in that moment. So last night on our social media, I just posted, what is the super simple thing you are too lazy to do? I can give you an example. I went the other day and bought, I've got one of those little, you know, the, the door stops that when you, they, they stick out off the wall and they go, ding, 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 you, know, yeah. you hit them or whatever. Mm-hmm. I have one of them that's broken. Dax was playing with it and it popped off or whatever. So I went and bought one. You know what it takes to change that? This is you unscrew one and screw the other one in, <laughs> and it's still sitting on the counter. It's sitting on the counter. It's not four feet from the one I need to change, and I have walked past it every day since Saturday. Look at it like I need to do that. Got to get down on the floor. It's I, like, to, uh, oh, I, I have to bend <laughs> down. That's the extent of it. it. It would take probably, what at most a minute to take the old, unscrew yeah, the old one and screw the new one back in, if that. My son will stand in the pantry and uh, just grab a couple of, uh, let's say, Cheez-Its or whatever out of the box. And if the box is empty, he puts it back on the shelf in the pantry because it's about three steps the other direction to put it in the trash. His mama loves it. That drives me nuts. Oh, she loves that. Um, (laughs) So, but other people started posting theirs, and these are phenomenal. Like Michelle said, I have three bags of clothes that are in my trunk that I need to drop off for donation. They've been there since last summer. Ooh, so in other words, yeah. you pull in, pop the trunk, they'll get them out and you drive away. That's it. Mm-hmm. But she said she's too lazy to do that. Melissa said, I bought six new bath towels right before Thanksgiving. They're still in the bags that I brought them home in. I'm just too lazy to take the tags off. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I had a similar situation when we used to do like, it was a coats for kids thing that we did. Yeah. And I had a coat in my car for like three years because I never remembered, I never got it out of bed. Wow, those kids are grown by the time you get to it. <laughs> yeah, so, so at the Ace TJ show, this is gonna blow your mind. The super simple things you're too lazy to do are phenomenal. Now. This is the Ace and TJ show. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. 
The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Uh, this is your opportunity to confirm how good or bad you feel about yourself based upon the actions of other members of the Ace and TJ radio family. The super simple thing in life you are just too lazy to do. Now we're getting into the heavyweights here, in my opinion, like Tracy, who says the super simple thing she's too lazy to do, throw the mail away. She <laughs> writes, I stop at the mailbox at the end of the driveway and throw the mail in my floorboard. I pass the garbage can when I get out of the car. So in other words, the way I assume mm. she takes like the, the junk mail and throws mm. it in the floorboard, pulls it, pulls at the end of her driveway, gets out of her car and will literally walk by the garbage can, but is too lazy to pick the mail up out of the floorboard and just drop it in the garbage can on her way. Why throw it in the floorboard? Why I don't not know. put it in the passenger seat? I don't have the answer. Somewhere though. easier to reach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, Ashley has a good one that I think most people will do. She said, if the gas pump says, see cashier, I'm leaving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She did point out that she has risked running out of gas before just because I'm not going in. Uh, <laughs> my favorite, though, is one that Rob found, and I can't find him. Oh, here it is. Jamie, who said, my neighborhood is across, my neighborhood is across the street from a Chick-fil-A, and we door dash Chick-fil-A. Oh. <laughs> mm. That's oh, a well, crazy one. I used to do that all the time, actually. You can't hide uh, money. <laughs> you know, uh, another one I do with gas is if it doesn't have the little clip to put the handle up automatically and I yeah. can walk away from it, I'll go to another gas station. <laughs> well, I yeah. used to until I figured out if you take chapstick, and it, it's the perfect size to right. prop it mm-hmm. prop it open. Um, <laughs> like I'm not holding that. Mallory said, uh, a simple task you are too lazy to do. She says, I've been staring at Christmas decorations on the mantle since January, mm-hmm. just waiting for them to put themselves up. Oh, my God. She goes, same with the green drop cords outside that were used for exterior Christmas lights. Oh, and the Christmas lights wrapped around my front porch rail. The neighbors have a bet on how long my Christmas decorations will stay up. Um, Yeah, that's not good. If your neighbors are betting on how long you're going to do something wrong. You don't want to be the subject (laughs) of a bet. Yeah. (laughs) Good point. You never want to be the subject of a neighborhood bet, do you? It's never good. (laughs) That's bad. Um, and Cara says, I, I won't get my Starbucks after 7 a.m. because it's too busy. I'd have to go inside. Yeah. So I think a lot of people are Yeah, like, that's yeah. a yeah. substantial one. Um, look, <laughs> we've got to have a conversation about an American celebrity. Dare I say an American icon who may have gone off the rails again. And it's bad. We love her, but we got to have a talk about her. Next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? you well, know? it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> <I mean. laughs> so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your Social Security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less, or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now listen to that. You call in. They set it up. Your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. It was about a week ago on the new Ace and Friends show that airs every afternoon at 3, 3 Eastern on our app, um, that Tech D. Rob told us in his 38 years of life, he's never parallel parked. 
I was stunned at the number of people that added, like, I'm 34, never done it. I'm 45, never done it. I'm 27, never parallel parked. I was couldn't believe that. Well, today that changes for Take D Rob. Take D Rob parallel parks today for the very first time. No, my tires are flat. No, they're good. You're good. They're about to be flat. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to uh, do this. That's a three Eastern today is when it f starts. Uh, you can catch it live then <laughs> or download it after that um, on the Ace and TJ family app. I didn't really re y'all may have known this. I didn't realize this, but apparently uh, American Icon uh, Britney Spears is at it again. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, first off, I didn't know that she had changed her name on her Instagram account to read. Uh, it's still her handle is still at Britney Spears, but the name on her account reads Zyla Maria River Red. Mm -hmm. um, and then in this post, I'm just going to read through the post and then tell me to stop when we hit the weird part. Uh, she's at, at the beach uh, and she says, my favorite part of my trip is being naked in the water. I saw two crabs walking with shells on their backs. My friend picked one up and I screamed. The only fish I saw were extremely small. The boat was exciting, except I wanted to drive it. They used to let me drive it. Not sure why, but since I changed my name to Zilla, I'm having a hard time understanding English. The dress I wore in my pics is the only dress that actually fit me. I was like, wait, whoa, what? <laughs> so she's Britney Spears, consciousness. who, yeah. but she's, well, she thinks she can't, she's got a different language now. Yeah, since she changed her name on her account to Zilla Maria River Red, suddenly she's having a hard time understanding English. Yeah. Bless it. And I guess there is a brand new photo of her completely naked on the beach with yeah, flowers. With little, on little, your, yeah. um, stupid emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know if maybe that was an older thing or I'd missed something. I just ran across no, it I mean, this morning. Young like, people you know, aren't the only ones getting that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, man, somebody's got to do something, right? Well, like, we know how that ended up getting, last time. I don't know. It just seems like we're getting into a into dangerous. Everybody loves Britney Spears. You want the best for her, but we're getting into some dangerous territory here again. I think. Mm. But suddenly she just changes her name, and now she can't understand. I'm sorry, not that she can't. She's having a hard time understanding English. Yeah, and all you women that got mad at me a long time ago when I said Britney is just dying to show everybody what she looks like naked. She's dying to be naked in, in public. Yeah, you say that, you know, call me a chauvinist and all that. Look at her. Every day she proves me more and more right. There's no She's argument. Just dying for people to look at her naked. Uh, Riggins and now <laughs> trending, the hottest trending topics you need to know. Coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. All right, so Diddy is still a top trending topic. People are still discussing him. What's interesting about this is that his house in Los Angeles is now like the hottest stop on those celebrity bus tours. Like everybody that gets on one of those TMZ buses or oh. they all want to see the home where Diddy, where, where Diddy wasn't, uh, but yeah. the house that got raided. Where is he hmm. now? I think he's still in Antigua. I could be wrong. Because oh, I thought the other day they said he was he had flown to Miami. But I, yeah, okay. He did fly through Miami to get to Antigua. Antigua. Okay. I know. Okay. But I don't know if he's come back or all anything. Right. Uh, but everybody wants to see that house. That doesn't interest me at all. Yeah, I, I, those homes star tour things. I, I just cannot imagine how miserable I would be sitting on one of those buses, you know, just like hot. looking around at the people on there. And just like, oh. <laughs> Not that they would be bad people or anything, just not, nobody I would have anything in common with. And then you're stuck on that bus, so if, you, if you've seen enough, you can't leave. Yeah. You're like, okay, I'm bored yeah. with this. Uh, we still got two more hours riding through these neighborhoods. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's like the Disney Safari ride, but 
it's all celebrities instead of cool animals. Yeah, but you don't see the celebrity. It'd be like That's going true. to the saf- the safari ride and just seeing you know where they sleep at night and they're not around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where, that's Look, where the lions are. There's the cave are, where right? the lions sleep. <laughs> you might get Richard Simmons, but probably <laughs> not anymore. Not since they ran over his foot yeah. <laughs> doing that thing. He came out there, you remember? They ran over him. <laughs> kind of scary news for maybe Tech D. Rob. Uh, Ninja, who is one of the biggest video game streamers of all time. Uh, your, your kids, uh, if you're a young person, you probably know who Ninja is. He's just been diagnosed with skin cancer. Oh. Now, why is that interesting? Well, he's a gamer who spends the majority of his waking hours inside in front of a computer screen. So it doesn't he doesn't have the reputation of being sort of an outdoorsman, but he's got uh, skin cancer. But yeah, that, well, when that I first saw that money. story, I thought his name was Twitch. I was like, oh, this this, this Twitch guy has got <laughs> so but, many. But Twitch is the where he yeah. plays his games. Yeah, Twitch is the platform. <laughs> Easy mistake. There's a lot of Twitches out there. <laughs> yeah, we knew a radio guy named Twitch. There's a lot of Twitches. Mm-hmm. Ellen's uh, DJ was, was yeah. Twitch before he died. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ace, tell us why Sally Field is trending. I don't know why Sally Field is trending. Well, Rob told us, because uh, everybody's calling her Sally Field. It's not Sally Fields. It's Sally Field. Get it right. Yeah, it's trending. <laughs> That's all yeah. I can figure out. I, I can't it just says suddenly Sally Fields is trending, mm-hmm. and it's everywhere. Yeah, and if you don't know who Sally Field is, she's an actress and um big in the 70s and 80s if you've ever heard anybody say you like me you really like me that's where they got that from sally field in, in an awards acceptance speech that was her yeah i didn't know yeah. that uh-huh. wasn't she forrest gump's mama too yep yes yeah, so i don't I was, know yeah i don't know how it some, started some but, mother you got there yeah <laughs> sally field is trending i'm happy sally fields is not trending and then, <laughs> then people are posting movie posters with her name on it saying it's field field yeah. but Get sally right. fields is what's mm-hmm. trending right now. That's a stupid thing. Some people yeah. say it's because of that, that film you guys were talking about, that Norma Ray or whatever it is. Yeah. That's why she's trending. But I don't that know may be what it. started it or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. I, I saw yesterday Halle Berry's was, was trending. Halle Berry's. Halle Berry's. <laughs> Halle Berry's. <laughs> <laughs> so those are just a few things that are now trending. Man, Tech D. Rob has an incredible plan of activities that he's going to do for vacation. We'll be on vacation next week, and uh, Tech D. Rob's going to take full advantage of it. What's he going to do? We'll tell you coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help, because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Tomorrow is Good Friday and um, we we don't work on Good Friday. We're Christians and we observe that um, as an important uh, day not to be working. Uh, and then we're off next week for a spring vacation that we take every year it started when our kids were in school and we take spring break week uh but now our kids are grown and we still take a spring break week um but uh we record fresh material for you and things like that for our podcast and also don't don't think you'll be missing out on anything uh, but tech d rob um surprisingly has a, a big list of activities that he's planning to do in the next week while we're on vacation so Rob, tell everybody what you've committed yourself to doing. There's a there's a Star Wars cartoon called um, the Clone Wars. It's been out. It's been going on for a while, and it finally wrapped up like a year or so ago. I've never really watched it, so I'm just gonna watch that nonstop. And how many <laughs> episodes is it? Over a hundred. <laughs> Over a hundred. 
because you you said you feel lost in some other Star Wars stuff because they reference that yeah. that cartoon. Yeah, it's it's a big piece of the Star Wars canon, and uh, without it, without the knowledge of that, some of the things like in the you know the, the prequel series don't make don't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine just taking your just planning your whole vacation around you know watching an animated show? Yeah. At thirty eight. Yeah, Meredith's not going to be home. Yeah, she's going to to some tropical place, isn't she? Mm-hmm, her and her mom. Where yeah. is she going? St. Croix. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he's going to be watching TV on the couch. <laughs> Rob. Yeah, That's with the curtains bad. drawn and the whole thing. Man, I, yeah. I, I, I ain't leaving that house. Her spring break, she's going to St. Croix, and your plan <laughs> is to sit in the dark and watch Star Wars cartoons the entire time. I know you guys think that she's the one who wins this, but I... I am definitely the winner. Yeah, I mean, he's he's got a, a perma smile right now. I mean, he's just like, you can't get home fast Clone enough Wars. today. And um, wow. what is the other, there wasn't there something else that you were, you were going to do? Yeah, so like, if I get like, maybe, I don't want to say sick of it, but if like, they start running together, I'll, I'll break it up and I'll watch the D&D show that I, I've been, I've been meaning to catch up on as well. Yeah, so he'll, he'll break up the uh, Star Wars animated show by watching a Dungeons and Dragons show. And then go back to the Star Wars. And may, maybe I'll play some Xbox. Now, other than to go get something to eat or whatever, will you leave the house at all? Uh, maybe. It depends on if somebody wants to do something out, outside of the house. Like go to the movies. Yeah, I'll probably, I might go see Yeah, go play too. games. Yeah. yeah, go play games. In, a, yeah. in an escape room. Oh, yeah. Man. Wow. Full day. <laughs> wow. Full, Full week. week. Yeah. He's back into the Star Wars stuff. Meanwhile, she's in St. Croix. Mm. Yeah, I heard it's a dump. Yeah. <laughs> you made the right decision, yeah. Rob. She's going to be miserable <laughs> while you're in there, you know, uh, un, like, un, unbathed and um, in the dark watching sci-fi cartoons. Were you, what a loser she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got to get rid of her, Rob. She's not cool enough for you. Rob, were you asked at all if she, did she ask at all, would you be interested in going to St. Croix? No. Oh, she knew. She knew. Yeah. Don't bother. All right. Well, good luck with that, Rob. We, we got you on the prayer list, brother. <laughs> Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense it makes life much easier go to homewithrichard.com to start the process a lot of options with richard Ducato. don't miss this opportunity homewithrichard.com today every company is a technology company but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy that's why you have compucom to guide you a proven leader in managed it services they'll do more than just get you ready for today they'll get you ready for tomorrow go to compucom.com for details This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. I know this may sound out of character, uh, but this is a story that is uh, probably going to be more interesting to the Riggins than anybody else because he is all into things about Sasquatch, Bigfoot. (laughs) He loves it. A uh, sheriff's office in Colville, Washington, posted an update on Facebook after a guy called to ask if he's allowed to hunt Sasquatch. All right. He said he's coming there uh, from out of town, quote unquote, in April this month, and he wanted to know if Bigfoot hunting is legal, and if so, does he need a special license? Um, <laughs> they told him uh, it was really more of a question for the uh, Fish and Wild Game office, but uh, he said, I already called them, and they're the ones who referred me to you. And um, they passed it on, and he said, of, of course, I will only um, shoot the male Sasquatch. I won't, I won't hunt for a female. So it's kind of like he's looking at it like deer or elk season or whatever. You don't shoot the does. You know, you're only going to shoot a, a buck. Um, and so they're having fun with it there. And uh, he's the the chief of police said the the guy was asking about an area called Meadow Lake, which is actually in a different county. So the sheriff there might have more info, and uh, he's pretty sure there aren't any around because one of his deputies would have hit it with their <laughs> patrol car by now. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking they don't need to be you know just treating this guy like a clown. 
this may be a mastermind trying to cover his tracks because he may be planning on coming to town and, and shooting a man. Yeah. And then saying, well, I called and said I thought he was a Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah. They're not thinking about that, are they? No. In the little yeah. sheriff's office. Trying to have fun. Yeah. He's probably found some really hairy guy that was messing around with his wife, and he's going to come to town, drag him out in the woods, and shoot him. And then he's going to tell him, hey, you have me on record calling. Yes. And you posted it on your Facebook. You were, you were, you know, talking about our conversation. I asked you if I could come hunt Sasquatch. And you said yes. That's entrapment. So I thought he was a Sasquatch. I thought he was a Squatch, y'all. That's what I thought. <laughs> Just simply mistaken identity. Yeah. Sorry. But see. I'm sorry, guys. Obviously, these, these trained, um, police officers there the deputies and the sheriff and the chief of police they don't have what i have when it comes to detectiving because they didn't even imagine that i bet nobody else did either that's why when it comes to detectiving i'm i'm probably the best in the country probably <laughs> yeah. b probably better than anybody in the world because i know i could whoop those fellas at scotland yard over there in in france <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy now, because I've put this out into the public, I probably just saved a man's life because he won't go through with it now. Right. He's like, uh-oh, some on me. brilliant dude sitting in Mooresville, North Carolina, figured me out when all the trained police officers couldn't. <sighs> Got to come up with plan B now. He ain't going to like that. He's going to come for you now. <laughs> no, I, I, I shaved myself. <laughs> I don't look like a squatch anymore. <laughs> now I used to. Woo. But I love that happened in Washington, proving mm -hmm. like the rednecks know. are everywhere. Rednecks. <laughs> this exactly. is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent you know it, it's just been one of the best decisions i've made do yourself a favor get out there as soon as possible set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics it's n-e-o-g-e-n-i-x neogenics charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic if you want all of the heating air and electrical work in your house done by the very best then you need bradham brothers They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Mm, 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 mm. Um. I don't know why this was out in the uh, celebrity news this week, but um, they were talking to uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Um, and by the way, I know him well enough to call him Shaquille. Yeah. Um, and he was talking about when he, he put on uh, Ice Spice's Instagram, quote, you so damn fine, end quote. And um they were asking him i guess if he was trying to hook up with ice spice and whatnot he said uh it doesn't mean i was trying to uh, uh to get it doesn't mean he's trying to get his hooks in in her quote just because i'm just because i say hi don't mean i'm trying to slide in the dms now the thing that sticks out to me about that statement is isn't shaquille o'neal too old to be talking like that using a slide up in the dms it just seems like he's too old to be speaking, you know, in the kid slang like that. <laughs> How old is he? He's uh, 
Probably 55, 56. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. He, he's, he's uh, Ace's age because yeah. Ace lies about him having a class together at LSU. <laughs> Never lied about that once. He's 52 years old. Yeah, he's a couple years younger than me. Oh, he's only 52? <laughs> yeah, he was oh. a, he was a oh, freshman. Oh, so you must have flunked. He was a freshman <laughs> my senior year or something. Like that. <laughs> if y'all had the same class, yeah. you flunked. One class. <laughs> <laughs> they hold you back. But now. yeah, so I, once you hit, I don't know, what should be the cutoff age for using kid slang? Like, if you're not doing it in jest. So then, it, you know, so what like should sly. he have said, though? Uh, uh, I was not trying to send her a DM. Or I was not uh, trying to uh, go out with her. I was not trying to put the moves on her. I was not trying to uh, court her. That'd be a good one. Court. Court. But, I was not trying to court her. But saying. Make her my fair lady. But sliding into the DMs is a is a, a phrase that, that denotes a specific type of message. Yeah. Right? So yeah, then, right. So yeah. that would be the phrase you would still use to say, like, not I was, not trying, 52. I was yeah. not trying to slide into her DMs no. because that's what he's insinuating. What he's clearing no. up is that I wasn't trying to, you know, send right. that kind of a message. Right. But you say no matter. He should. Yeah, it just says it's weird, I think. Should he refer to it as a direct message instead? Would that have helped? Well, I'm, sliding, trying, slide, to, slide. trying to slide in the DMs. I'm sorry. I just, and, it just <laughs> rings my ears i made an attempt Come, to spark up a conversation with this yeah lady. you just say hey just because i said she's so damn fine doesn't mean that i'm trying to hook up with her okay yeah is so damn fine also a problem phrase for him no because yeah. that's that is age appropriate okay. he said fine instead of hot because <laughs> our age we we said fine when we were young damn she is fine nobody was hot when we were young they were yeah. fine mm-hmm fine Yep. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to have to have a conversation with uh, either Mr. Shaquille O'Neal or his um, his publicist. It's a lot to have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> what is it is not acceptable. Yeah. I just can't imagine my dad using uh, the slang that I used whenever. Well, no, I know I know my dad tried to use the slang because he embarrassed me in front of all my black friends all the time. Oh, well, remember I told you, maybe that's why I've got such a, a soft spot in my heart for this. But your dad wasn't cool at all. <laughs> he used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is now trending coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi. And let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin, order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Powerball drawing happens on Saturday, $935 million. Uh, there was no winner last night. So cash value, $450. Four hundred fifty million dollars, uh, if you have the winning ticket on Saturday. Now, would it be worth the investment to fly to California to buy a ticket? Because well, you know the winner is going to be from California. Yeah, probably. And you keep saying that. Do you think there's like a conspiracy? Yes. That, that, yes. That, oh, absolutely. That, that yes. people are only winning the lottery if they live in yeah. California. Well, yeah, they don't win the Powerball. They don't ever let Southerners win it. 
every Powerball winner has come from California? Yeah, pretty Nine. much. Yeah. Every single one of them through the years. All of the big all money the big ones billion recently? Dollar yeah. ones are, yeah. All the big ones recently mm-hmm. have come from California. So and you, you to... think there's something afoot there? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I do. Um, they hate Southerners, I bet. Really? That's sure. so interesting. But not yeah, that. And I'll never have a chance to win it because they really hate Southern whites. <laughs> <laughs> like in California, like in the Powerball offices, wherever yeah. they are. Oh, is it in? Ca- that's why. No, I don't know. Oh. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. I'm just saying something. Just to be saying something. Well, but people agree. are saying. What is? What is? They the, are saying though that it's a conspiracy that the last winners have all been from California and yeah. all that. Way back in 2010, there's mm-hmm. even articles that say uh, California and Florida have have more winners than anyone else. Now they also have a lot more people playing than most states but okay <clears throat> california yeah. florida new jersey new york tennessee are the five biggies when it comes to winning powerball jackpots mm-hmm. i'd like to see somebody in tennessee win that i would like to see somebody in great. north carolina win that like right at your desk like sitting in this seat right here <laughs> <laughs> yeah so maybe uh maybe this will be the time <laughs> Please. who knows who knows there's a disturbing trend going on in new york mm-hmm. and if you've spent any time on tiktok you've probably already seen this women are just getting punched in the head I've seen at least three young women come forward with this story in the last week or so. Yeah. Showing off their huge knots, like right at their hairline. One woman was walking through, or I think two women were walking through Times Square, and the other one was walking like in, I forget I forget where the third neighborhood was. But just a guy coming out of nowhere and clocking them in the forehead, like these young women. I saw a girl yeah. that posted a TikTok and said, please, if you're... Uh, uh, coming to New York, don't look at your phone when you're walking. She yeah. said she looked down at her phone, and when she looked she, for a second, she looked down and bam, she took one right to the forehead yeah. and they ran off. And it's they crazy. should be able to shoot whoever hit them dead on the sidewalk. They should be able to just blow them away right there. Yeah, I mean, what is this? It, yeah, a lot I mean, of women were saying, like, this is how you avoid it. Like, just start shouting out, act like you're crazy when you're walking in public. Like, you're not going to hit me. Like, I, I don't know. I just feel terrible for, for young women that are having to work in New York City right now because there's a, multiple men running around punching women in the head. Uh, a scary story uh, from my childhood coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month—that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ Show. Watch it now. Available twenty-four hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ Podcast and Radio Show. Big mall to us was a place called Haynes Mall, and I believe it's still there. It's in Winston Salem. Yeah, it is. It's still there. Mm-hmm. I remember begging my mom, like in the middle of the week, like, "Can we please go to Haynes today?" It'd be like three o'clock on a Wednesday. And she goes, no, uh, we're not, no, that's just not feasible. Like you've lost your mind at three yeah, like, on a Wednesday. She's no. like, I don't know, let's revisit it over the weekend. Maybe we, can, but probably not. So when we got to go to Haynes Mall, it was a big deal. And it happened maybe twice a year. We'd go for school clothes at the beginning of the year and then maybe around Christmas. Uh, but when I, was, when I was young, my oldest brother and I and uh, my mom went there one afternoon 
and he was acting like a jerk running up and down the escalator that they have in the mall. And uh, he didn't have his, his, one of his shoes tied properly. And the shoelace got caught at the top of the escalator and sucked his leg in and sliced his leg up all from oh his ankle God. all the way up to his knee, like right up the front of it. Mm. And people came running over, lots of blood. It was like a big scene. Yeah. And to this day, he's still a little, <laughs> a little shaky about getting on escalators. Now he's not acting like a jerk like he was when he was 10, running up and down with his shoes untied. But he's a little weary of them. So Matthew McConaughey, scared of revolving doors. That's well known. Uh, Tyra Banks, she's terrified of dolphins, which I kind of understand yeah. after, after all those yeah. things you hear about dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Johnny Depp, terrified of clowns. Also kind of understandable. A lot of people are scared of clowns. What is the unusual phobia that you are dealing with in your everyday life? Billy Bob Thornton is afraid of antiques. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. He's got a weird phobia about mm -hmm. antiques. Was the orange food... I know he had like an orange food thing. No, or, yeah, that's just the diet he was yeah. on. He only ate st stuff that was orange. Okay, but yeah, he said that got blown out of proportion. Yeah. He's afraid of the color orange. That wasn't it at all. What is it about the antiques that scares him? I don't know. I guess it's just like old, creepy looking, like you would you know see in a, in a haunted house or something. I, I don't bet know. they're cursed. Yeah. yeah, maybe. So what is it for you at the Ace TJ Show? What weird phobia... Are you dealing with right now? There are some already some answers on social media that we got to get to, and they are wild. Uh, and we'll visit them next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. As winter packs its bags and spring settles in, the flowers they are blooming, and as Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress, the deals are booming. You write poetry. Does one ask a fish if it swims, or a bird if it flies? It was a long winter. Love where you live, Lake Norman, with up to $1,500 in free furniture with the purchase of a mattress sleep system. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. All right, we're talking about weird phobias. What is the weird thing that you are scared of? Not like ghosts and things like that, but the unusual phobia that you have. And um, I bet, you know, a lot of people are scared to go over bridges. And I bet that is going to become yeah. much more popular, sure. much more common mm -hmm. uh, going ahead after the uh, tragedy in Baltimore. So some people have mentioned uh, bridges and things like that. But what is the unusual phobia you're dealing with at the Ace TJ Show if you've got one? Great. Um, there is the, the, the best one on, on Facebook that I've seen comes from a woman named Paige. She said, I'm terrified of the hairballs that people pull out of their hairbrushes. My sister used to pin me down and rub the hairball all over my face when I was a kid. What, mm -hmm. what the hell is that? <laughs> what a psycho. <laughs> Imagine that she pulls all yeah. that hair out and pins her down and just rubs that nasty hair all over her face. It's crazy. What? I mean, you got to be unhinged to even think to do something like that. That is weird. I went to school with a guy who was afraid of pantyhose. That's a good one. Because when he was a little kid, he saw on TV this woman was like pulling her stockings off. Yeah. Um, and... He said it looked like she was just stripping off her skin. And so he always oh. he, he thought of pantyhose or stockings as being skin. Yeah. That was just being ripped off. So he couldn't stand it. That's a good one. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was terrified of wells. Oh, yeah. Because my mom used to watch this show called All My Children. Mm -hmm. And one of the big storylines in the show was twin sisters. And one of them throws the other one down a well. And, she, and for like the majority of the season, she's down in this well. And I remember seeing that and I went, that's absolutely terrifying. terrifying. Being caught in the bottom of a well. <laughs> uh, there is a lady here that said uh, it, the reason why. She says it rats. Okay, a lot of people are afraid of rats. But she says we had a ferret get loose in our house, stuck in our couch, and suddenly it climbed out and ran across my back. Oh God! She goes, I was a teenager. Since that day, rats terrify me. Crawled across your back. 
<laughs> so you're laying on the couch. Rats. Yeah, you're laying on yeah. the couch and you feel it just across your back. Like, I'm freaked out now. Mm. There's a crazy viral video of a cat messing with a toaster, and the woman thinks the mm. cat is just like messing with the toaster, and then all of a sudden a mouse flies out of it, and she's like, "Oh my god, <laughs> she about died." That cat snatches it up right out of the toaster and then takes off with it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, oh my she God. thinks the cat's just being a jerk, but it's mm. actually looking for this mouse. Uh, so there have been a couple of big revelations uh, on the Ace and TJ show and on Ace and TJ's podcast this week. And we're going to recap some of those things coming up for you next. This is the Ace and TJ show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? you well, know? it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> <I mean. laughs> so uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now listen to that. You call in, they set it up. Your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com. The Richard Takato Companies. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Happy National Something on a Stick Day, by the way. In case you didn't hear, today's National Something on a Stick Day. Celebration of all things on a stick. Doesn't have to be food like corn dogs or popsicles, ice cream bars. It could be a, um, a flag. A flag. Celebrate like American flag on sure, the Sure, absolutely. Could be a um, banner, a, a pennant. Today's the first day of Major League Baseball. So, yeah. like a pennant on a stick you wave around. Yeah, sure. You know, what else is on a stick? The pepper on a stick, that ventriloquist. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much out of things on a stick. I can't think of too <laughs> many other things, but corn dogs, absolutely full yep. corn dogs. So, there have been a couple of things that have happened. Uh, uh, so, Ace's podcast, Ace and Friends, streams every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. TJ's podcast, uh, airs every day at 10 a.m. Eastern. On TJ's podcast this week, we tried Southern Pear Salad. Uh, if you didn't see that uh, on the podcast yesterday, that was a bit of a disappointment. I don't know. They say it's an Eastern Easter staple in the South. I've never heard of it, but it's a pear half filled with mayonnaise and topped with cheddar cheese. It's nasty. Yeah, we tried it. It was not good. It tasted like a pear topped with mayonnaise. It just wasn't hitting for me at all. Um, so go check that out. And then uh, yesterday we learned that Ace's sister is a witch. Um, that was shocking. Yeah. She's a witch. She considers herself to be a witch. But then she texts me, hey, don't worry, we still go to church. Yeah, I don't know that that... Mm -hmm. that that's Some kind of a white witch that I don't know the details. I don't want to say She's too in much. the occult. Not a big deal. She's yeah. a white witch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there have been some major revelations uh, this mm. week. And uh, Techie Rob is going to parallel park for the first time today on Ace's podcast. Yeah. Um, so many things are happening. Yeah, that, uh, that, that thing with my sister's really got me kind of freaked out. To be honest. I don't blame you. I'm a little, yeah, I'm I'm a little, little yeah, kind of wild. It's just like she just keeps adding things to herself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she started out just being, you know, where she would get these feelings about things. And then yeah. she became a tarot card reader and then a ghost hunter. And then now she's a witch. Can you just all of a sudden wake up one day and say, I'm a witch now? I, 
I don't think so. You don't I don't have to know. Go to which school or anything? No. But she told us all the stuff about she buries an egg in the yard by the door because it leads to prosperity. In front of his childhood home, there's yeah. an egg buried by the front door. Yeah. She blows work? cinnamon through I'll the do door. It. I mean, if it works, I don't. <laughs> no, I would do it if it worked. Trust, it, but I mean, verify. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blowing cinnamon in the door Doing frames for something that does something to your house. I don't know. The, on, you, on the first day of the month, I don't know. Then you got to clean that up. Cinnamon in the floor. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't either. Yeah. So go, but it does. Go check Apparently. out yesterday's it episode. It's work. got all the details are in there. Yeah. This is the Ace and TJ Show.